Well, I just, after I posted that last video, just found out 23 people dead in Alabama from tornadoes. Children, men, women. Tornadoes touched down. At least 14 people are now confirmed dead. It's now 23. In Lee County, Alabama. You can just see a breathtaking path of destruction in these images we're getting from our affiliates there. Joining us now is the coroner of Lee County, Alabama, Bill Harris. And Bill, first, condolences to you, your community, for this devastation that you're experiencing. You think, I understand, there's a good chance that this death toll is still going to rise. Why? Uh, very well could. I, uh, my understanding, I'm... I'm about a mile from where both of the destruction has taken place, and it's my understanding that they still have not been able to get to parts of that area as they're going through the, the houses in rubble looking for people. Oh, that is gut-wrenching to hear. Walk me through what happened when this tornado ripped through. Uh, it was in a rural area south of Opelika, Alabama. Uh, it came on pretty sudden. They had fair warning, and then it uh, just hit with a vengeance, and... Uh, it just destroyed a very large area, and uh, I, I don't even know how many people were injured, but just uh, multiple, multiple injuries. They, in fact, they are still pulling uh, injured people out every now and then and, and transporting them for treatment to the hospital. And, and what are you seeing? I'm not at the scene where all the destruction is, but I've gotten reports from the people that are uh, out there, my deputy coroners, that are retrieving the decedents, and uh, he said it's just total destruction. All right, um, 23 dead. Beauregard, Alabama. And there were tornadoes in Georgia and Florida, South Carolina. Okay, um, 42,000 are without power. 42,000 homes are without power in Georgia and Alabama. Um, they said that one of the tornadoes was a half a mile wide. When you see tornadoes that are a half mile wide, you have to think not natural, man-made. In Georgia, the town of Cairo, 9,500 residents suffered a direct hit from what appeared to be a tornado on radar. Uh, dozens of structures were damaged or destroyed. Some residents were trapped in homes. Um, so far, they don't have any tally on anybody dying, but they do have injuries. Um, a lot of trees down, debris, power lines down. We have trees completely through houses. It looked like a hurricane came through. Are we looking at an extremely low frequency? Yes. Yes, we are. And I'm going to show you more signatures that I captured that I did not include in my video that I just posted. Florida uh, radar confirmed tornado spread debris on Interstate 10 in Walton County, South Carolina. There were numerous reports of damage in and around Columbia. Possible tornado damaged a church in Red Bank and ripped a roof off a home and blew recreational vehicles onto the sides onto their sides in Lexington. A cell tower came down. And this is uh, Beauregard, Alabama. <sighs> My God. This was one tornado. They said the tornadoes were back to back. This, I believe, is the half mile wide tornado. All right. Um, 
lots of high frequency heating going through these storms. And this was, okay, today at 835, 835 um, p.m., sorry. This is Georgia. This is Alabama. And as you can see, the high frequency heating, the red, well, take a look at how nice of a circle that is, like the next red harp signature coming from Doppler radar. And the high frequency heating just going right into um, Columbia, South Carolina. Look at all of the, and I'm upset because I didn't, um, I didn't capture. I captured enough for you to understand that high frequency heating was taking place. These almost perfect circles that just um, erupt in this storm. So this is Mississippi. This is Florida. And let me see if I caught anything else. Now, let me go back. South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama. And this is right where the tornadoes hit. Look at that. It's like a perfect red circle that erupts. This is high frequency heating, guys. And this is where the tornadoes came through. Right where the tornadoes came through. And I also want to show you the extremely low frequencies that were emitted. This is Alabama, right here, right where there was tornadoes. So you have the extremely low frequencies. You've got the high frequency heating. And I'll show you one other thing that I caught. This is so upsetting. It's really just, it's very upsetting. Here, harp next ride signature. You have it at the end here. You have, you know, this perfectly lined storm. These are where the tornadoes hit. Ow, ow. Oh, Jesus. I just got scratched by a cat. Okay. Wait one second, Bandit. One sec. All right. So you see the harp next ride signature, the circle. All right, well, extend, complete the circle, complete the circle. And what you will find is in the middle of that circle is where the tornadoes hit. And Dutch Sense was posting a lot of videos in 2011 when all of the tornadoes were taking out towns and killing hundreds of people. And he was predicting tornadoes based on the signatures that he was seeing. And what he would do is extend the circle out and right in the area, middle, the middle of the circle is where the tornadoes did hit. Well, I am really sorry for all those who are suffering this destruction. 
And I'd love to hear from my subscribers, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Panhandle, Florida, South Carolina, Georgia. Please let us know that you're okay. All links are below.